Hello Dollar General friends. In this video we're going to go over the clearance updates in the penny list for December 19th. The first thing that I am going to mention is that the Pampers Swim Diapers will be staying at 50% off. There's three different sizes to look for, a small, a medium, and a large. Most stores have already gotten rid of these because they didn't realize they were staying around full price for a while, but if you can find them now, they're half off. And then the thing we're going to talk about that everyone is probably really excited about is the penny list for December 19th. And the one item that you're going to be looking for is harvest and fall stuff. So really, it's one category with a lot of different items that you're going to be able to look for. There's tons of decorations, candles, all kinds of stuff that you're going to want to keep an eye out for. And so in this video, I'm going to show you some things that are included with the Fallen Harvest that you should be able to find for a penny at your store. And then I'm going to show you a few things that are excluded. They were ringing up full price during the 90% off sale, so they probably will not be pennying out. As always, your miles may vary. When you go to one store, you may get one price, and you go to another store five minutes down the road, you may get an entirely different price. So, as always, when you get to Dollar General, make sure you pull up your app, make sure your location is set to the store that you are actually at, and then make sure you scan items with the barcode scanner to see what they are ringing up as. These are some items that I found that were full price. They are floral arrangements with green tags that say artistry designs. I did have someone say that they were on sale at their store, but they were full price at my store, so I do not expect these items to penny out. I expect them to stay at full price, at least for now. There's lots of different ones that look very much like fall stuff, but they are not ringing up with the other fall items. And then I did want to mention again that a lot of stores have the orange party supplies mixed in with their fall decor. They have these left over from Halloween and they move them into the fall, but they are full price. And then I did want to mention that the craft supplies such as ribbon are still ringing up full price. They should not be going to a penny. You might get lucky. You definitely want to scan with your app just in case, but they're probably remaining at full price. The rest of this video, I'm going to show you some visuals of things that I think people are more than likely going to find when this stuff goes to a penny. Um, starting Tuesday, December 19th, the harvest items will be a penny, but these are the things that I think employees are not going to notice. These are the things that you're going to find left behind. These are the kinds of items that you're going to find mixed in on the regular home decor aisle. These are things that just look kind of simple and generic, so employees might miss them when they're pulling off all the fall decor to pack it up and get rid of it. They might not notice these things, and these are the things you're going to be trying to find when you're looking for penny items. There's lots of different baskets and crates. You're going to want to look for those on the top shelves. Sometimes they miss those, they leave them up on the sky shelf to get them out of the way, and then when they pull the items, they forget about them, or you might find them on the home decor aisle mixed in with the other baskets and things. There's lots of different vases and jars, which I have seen in multiple stores mixed up on the regular home goods aisle. When you go over to the kitchen aisle. It's got cups and jars and candles and clocks, all those kinds of things. That's what I mean when I say the home decor aisle. And when you go over there, lots of these things, since they don't look exactly like fall items, they can kind of be hidden away and people don't notice them. So these are the things you're going to find mixed in. These little lantern boxes I have found in so many stores mixed in. You see here it's with the lamps and the clocks on the home goods aisle. But when you look at the tag, it says Fall and Harvest. It has an apple on it, so you know it's included. This little canister, there's two different versions. I only got one picture of a UPC code for some reason, but there's two different versions. These little lantern holders, as they call them, they are mixed in still on a lot of regular home decor sections. The tag has the big harvest leaf on it. 
So they are going to be ringing up a penny. They were ringing up 90% off, but this is the kind of thing that the employees are going to miss. There's two different kinds of these large plastic charger plates. Some of those you'll probably still find mixed in with the Christmas stuff because they don't necessarily realize that it's fall decorations. This pumpkin jar I expect to be left in a lot of stores because it has a brown dot on the price tag. So employees are probably not going to realize that it is following the fall markdowns. These canisters I have seen mixed in on the display tables and throughout the home goods aisle in multiple stores. So I expect people to be finding a lot of those when they go down to a penny on Tuesday. These little birds I have found mixed in with the home decor on the regular aisle. So you definitely want to keep an eye out for those. There's the yellow one and the red orange looking one. These mugs and vases I have seen in multiple stores mixed up with the regular home goods with the other cups and stuff. There is a blue, a green, and an orange set. So make sure you keep an eye out for anything in that muted fall blue, green, orange glass color. There are vases and cups and then there's a larger vase. So you might find some of that mixed in. So you definitely want to keep your eye out for those and all the different colors that they had them in for fall. They will be a penny. So that would be a great thing to pick up. This is another example of a basket that you might find sitting on a sky shelf or mixed in with the regular baskets. And then I just did show a clip here of these little bowls. They do say give thanks on them, but you can just kind of barely see it. So I found a lot of these mixed in on the home goods aisle, as you can see here. I bought these at 90% off, but I'm sure they would have still been left at a penny because I don't think the employees are going to go over there and pull these off because they're not going to notice them. They have a very generic look to them. You only realize that they're a fall Thanksgiving bowl if you really look at it. And employees just don't have time to hunt for things like that. And then you see there's a green glass there. That will probably still be sitting over there. I think that one's missing this price tag. That does happen with a lot of the misplaced items. They end up missing their price tags. And then I wanted to show you some visuals of the candles just to remind you to look for them. I found some of these mixed in on the regular home goods aisle, of course, and the regular candle section mixed in over there. And then you should also check the end caps or wherever your store has Christmas candles. You might find some fall candles mixed in there and look out and get some penny candles. Mm -hmm. I hope this video helps you out, guys. I hope you subscribe and come back for more. I hope you find a lot of penny harvest items this week. And until next time, bye.